Hey guys, we are here with a review. Church's Chicken has a new chicken sandwich. They're joining the masses of the people having the new chicken sandwiches. You just saw I reviewed Wendy's chicken sandwich, and then of course they did Popeyes, and a lot of people have different, uh, different people have chicken sandwiches. The new thing to try to get the new chicken sandwich, I'm trying to be like Popeyes. So we're gonna try it out. They have a spicy and a regular one. We're gonna make ready to order here. You want the combo or just the sandwich? Just the sandwich is fine. Yeah, can I get a um, original Church's Chicken sandwich? Can I get one? Combo, right? No, just the sandwich. And is that going to be a spicy one or the original one? Can I get one of each? One of each. And uh, anything else like today? Yeah, can I also get um, just one? Oreo cookie cheesecake. Perfect. And that's it. That's gonna be kind of Thank you. Actually, should have got the water. Before I forget, it's five ninety nine for the chicken sandwich. It's on the menu here. Five ninety nine and the Oreo cheesecake. Oreo cookie cheesecake. We're gonna try. It's a dollar ninety nine. That's new, so I figured we'd try that. Because sometimes they don't give us our receipt. It was 10, 10 something. Yeah, we maybe should have got a water or something. Or we could stop and get a drink somewhere else. Yeah, that's fine. So they have a spicy one and they have a regular one. And they look kind of similar to Popeye's, but we'll see. Popeye the sailor man. Ooh, ooh. I'm strong to the finish, cause I eat me spinach. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. I haven't been to Church's Chicken in forever. Like, I don't remember the last time. It's been years. I don't like chicken, so I don't ever go to those places. I used Actually, to go. I take that back because I love Kane's Chicken. Yeah, Kane's was pretty good. Their and flavoring then, on that other chicken's chicken amazing. place that we like? The Zach Bees? No, the one in Liberty. Zach. Oh, that's a. Uh, Chicken. I can't remember the name of it. Oh, what is the name of that place? Oh God, what is that? I used to go to churches a lot when we were younger because my dad loved churches chicken. We would get the chicken basket and the fries. We had the little crinkle fries with it. This we used to get. It. I used to like. Ch I prefer churches chicken actually over churches chicken or uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. They had such good uh, coating, the crispy coating on the chicken is really crunchy and good. The flour, the, ba the, the batter. batter. Yeah. But for some reason, just don't go there much anymore. We don't really go to Kentucky Fried Chicken either, to be honest, but sometimes a little bit more. But there's actually one closer Kentucky Fried Chicken to us than this church's chicken is a little bit further away. So we're not down here that much. That could be a reason why. Hello, Cindy, you want? All right. Thank you, sir. There you go. They gave us a receipt. Yes. So yeah, it was $3.99 for both chicken sandwiches. $1.99 for the Oreo cookie cheesecake. Now I gotta find a place to park. Maybe I should just turn this way and go in this parking lot right over here. Okay, so it says, our new chicken sandwich. Six decades in, we changed the game again. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's everything churches between two buns and it's finally here. Thanks for waiting. <laughs> and that's the picture of what it's supposed to look like, so we'll see what it actually looks like. Look at that plump, juicy chicken and then the pickles. The bun looks really good. It looks like a pretzel bun, what does it say here? Uh, it says the bun, toasted, cross cut and brushed with our famous honey butter. These brioche buns bring a real X factor, so it's a brioche bun. The mayo, no sandwich is complete without sauce. How do you like your mayo, regular or spicy? The pickles, three cheers for this crispy trio. Some say that one extra pickle really is a big deal. The filet, when it comes to chicken sandwiches, the filet gets the final word. Ours comes with juicy hand breaded and cooked to perfection. So. The only difference with the spicy and the regular one is the spicy has spicy mayo. And then the other one just has regular mayo. 
It's like a spicy um, jalapeno kind of sauce or something. And it comes in this little bag. Cutesy. This one, oh, it says spicy mayo and free jalapeno. So you get a jalapeno in there maybe? So we'll show you the sandwich and then we're going to cut them up and share them. So that's what the sandwich looks like. Not quite. I like the picture, but you know. The chicken looks like the picture, but the top looks flat. It's kind of smushed. It's smushed. That's the chicken there. Looks nice and plump. And then this is the spicy one because it's got the, the spicy sauce. It's the, kind of a orange color. And that's the regular one with just the regular regular mayo. Not much mayo on there. No, there isn't. A well, little stingy with their mayo, are they? So we're gonna cut it up. Hold on a second. All right. So let's try the regular one first. How about that? Make sure how about that? One. We can see how hot the spicy is. Not bad. It's good. Not too shabby. Hmm. Bun's not real soft though. It's kind of hard. Bun's a little chewy. Mm-hmm. The chicken's really good. Let me try just the chicken. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, the chicken's really nice. A little bit chewy though, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Even the chicken parts a little <laughs> bit. Not real super tender. It's all just chewy all together. Not real bad chewy, but just slightly. Yeah. <clears throat> I feel like it could be a little bit more tender. Flavor's good. But it's just it's good flavor. a little tad bit chewy. The bun would be better if it wasn't so hard. It was like it's like it was set out. Yeah, I almost and feel like it got hard a little bit, or they left the loaf open for a little bit. Maybe. I don't know. It could have been sitting there for a while too, because sometimes mm -hmm. they do that because it's real popular right now, so they're probably just making a bunch ahead of time. All right. So now let's try the spicy one. Oh, I hope I can handle this. It's got a little kick. Mm-hmm. It's pretty good. It does a little, have a little kick. Let me try some more. That's good. That's got, of course, more flavor because it's got the spicy, spicy mayonnaise on there. Mm -hmm. Still a little bit chewy on this one though, mm -hmm. same as the other one. A little bit on the chewy side. Though. I feel like the bun's not completely fresh, and I feel like the chicken is not completely fresh. I feel like it's been sitting yeah. out for a little while. That could just depend <sighs> on if you get yours made fresh or if it's been sitting out for a while. You could get one that was made really fresh, and it might not have this problem. We yeah. could have said, "Can we get it made fresh?" and it might have made a difference, but, yeah, but you shouldn't have to do that, I don't think. So we're reviewing it on just ordering it just normally without saying, can I get it fresh? They're it's both, a little bit chewy. They're both pretty good, but the chewiness and the bun is gonna knock some points off. Yeah, it is, because Popeye's worst before wasn't that way, it was nice and fresh. The bun was really soft and the chicken was really tender. Wendy's was even really good. The Wendy's that I did was, the mm -hmm. bun was really soft and then the chicken was nice and tender. This is good, the flavor's really good. It's just, I feel like it would've been more fresh, the bun would've been a little softer, and the chicken would've been a little bit more tender. Um, it would've been a little bit better. I agree. 
So for the original, I'm gonna go with a three out of five. Just because it was chewy and the bun was kind of tough. Yeah. And then with the spicy, I'm gonna go with three out of five too because it was chewy and the bun was kind of hard. Other than that, if it if it would have been more fresh, I probably would have went with a four and a half maybe. Yeah, I say three out of five on the regular one. I'll give it three and a half out of spicy just because I like that a little bit. I like this seasoning and the flavor of that spicy, so I'll jump that up to three and a half on that one just because I think that may taste that seasoning. Yeah. Yeah, it's good spicy mayonnaise. And then with the Oreo cheesecake, it looks pretty darn good. It's got Oreo cheesecake and it's got Oreo on the top here. Let me read. So it says, for a limited time only, try our new Oreo cookie cheesecake. It's the perfect to-go dessert. I thought I was gonna say go-to dessert. It's perfect to-go dessert. A decadent cookies and cream filled cheesecake topped with an Oreo cookie. Now, the Oreo on it is soft. Probably because it's been sitting so, in there with yeah. the cheesecake. Is it cold? Yeah. Yeah. So I'll take the first bite. Ooh, there's Oreos on the bottom. Oh, yeah, it's probably got an Oreo, Oreo crust. crust on the bottom. Yeah. Better get some of that. Mm. Uh oh. There's my face. like cookies and cream. Mm-hmm. Mm. Not too shabby, it tastes like Oreos. Mm-hmm, it's good. <laughs> yeah. First when you try it, it tastes, first you just get the cookies and cream flavor, but then when you start chewing a little bit more, you really, that get cheesecake that. kicks mm -hmm. in. You really get that good cheesecake flavor. Yeah. Let's see what the cookie on top of it, how it tastes if it's soft. It's pretty darn good though. The cookie tastes good. I mean, it's not crunchy. It's soft, but the flavor is still good. Dang. <laughs> I'm a little piggy. Mm, yeah. It's really good. It tastes exactly what it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. You really get the Oreo cookies and cream flavor, Oreo, and then mm -hmm. cheesecake. Um, maybe not exactly 100% Oreo because the Oreo on top is a little softer. So maybe mm -hmm. that because it's not crunchy, it don't taste exactly like an Oreo. But texture wise, maybe. I think it does, but I dunk my Oreos anyway, so they're That's soft. That's true. True. So when you take a bite with the Oreo on top, oh yeah. I almost feel like that cheesecake flavor is a little bit stronger than the Oreo flavor, though. Yes, the like cheesecake really, really, yeah. It's a strong cheesecake flavor. But you can but, taste the Oreo in there good. Yeah, you can, definitely. It's not like overwhelmingly cheesecake, like, if you don't like cheesecake, I think it's not, that cheesecake flavor definitely is in there, but it's not like, you definitely get the cookies and cream mixed in with it. It's just that cheesecake flavor slightly overpowers the Oreo just a tad bit, but mm -hmm. it's really good. I think it's so, really good, though. Yeah, I get that. I got a four and a half out of five. I think it's good. I'm gonna go with a four and a half out of five too. It's pretty darn good. Yep. Yeah. All right, so. I would recommend to try it. Check them out. The new, from Church's Chicken, the original new chicken sandwich and the spicy chicken sandwich and the Oreo cheesecake dessert. Thanks for watching. Comment, thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye, y'all. So we forgot to show it. it does come with a jalapeno in the bag it's a separate bag in that was it in the sandwich bag uh-huh no it came separately it says feeling spicy on the bag okay yeah so yeah it had a jalapeno in there with the chicken sandwich